sign up for free Stratfor Intelligence. Simply enter your email address to receive two free reports each week. In today's dispatch, we're going to be looking at the arrest yesterday in Aguas Calientes State of Jose de Jesus Mendez Vargas, El Chango, the monkey, the leader of one of the factions of the La Familia Michoacana cartel. To understand what the arrest of El Chango means, uh, we have to really go back and look at, at the flow or, or really the context of what's been happening with the Mexican tar cartels over the last year. A year ago this time, the La Familia, or as we call them, LFM, uh, La Familia Michoacana, the LFM cartel uh, was an up-and-coming cartel. Uh, it was rising in power and prominence, uh, and it had banded together with two other powerful cartel groups, the Sinaloa Federation and the Gulf Cartel, to assist them in their battle against the Zetas and their allies. Now, one of the things that we've seen happen over the years with the Mexican cartels is that as any one figure, uh, especially in the Sinaloa Federation, gets too powerful, they have a tendency to uh, run into accidents. And that's what we saw happen last July. Uh, there was a, a gentleman by the name of Ignacio Coronel Villarreal, uh, El Nacho. Uh, Ignacio Coronel had an issue uh, with, with, the, uh, with the authorities, w was taken out, and this created a vacuum in Jalisco and Guadalajara. Now at this time what happened is the LFM cartel saw that vacuum of power and they decided to move in and try to assume control of Jalisco and Guadalajara. This then initiated a war between the Sinaloa Federation and the LFM for control of this very lucrative place. As LFM began fighting with Sinaloa, we saw uh, Sinaloa Federation becoming uh, uh, really dominant and, and, and getting the upper hand in that fight. And that struggle really culminated uh, in the death last, late last year of the leader of the LFM, a guy by the name of Nazario Moreno Gonzalez, El Mas Loco, uh, or the craziest one. Following the, the death of El Mas Loco, uh, what we saw happen was that it devolved into two different organizations uh, that were uh, basically coalescing around different powerful leaders, uh, lieutenants of El Mas Loco. The first of these lieutenants was uh, Jose Mendez Vargas, El Chango, the monkey. Uh, the second one was Servando Gomez Latuta. Uh, the teacher. La Tuta's faction uh, began using the name of uh, the Knights Templar. The other organization, uh, the faction that formed around El Chango, kept using the, the name La Familia. So uh, over the last few months, as uh, these organizations have formed up, we've seen them locked in a, ba a very bloody battle for control of Michoacan. So, so over the next uh, weeks and months, we're going to be watching for indications of, of, of which way this is going to be going, whether or not uh, this LFM faction will be able to, to stay united, whether they'll be able to uh, be able to fend off uh, the offensive of the Knights Templar, and whether or not they uh, could become more closely allied with uh, Los Zetas.